Hi guys, John from West Dallas Heating here. Uh, just put a new furnace and air conditioner in my house, so I figured what a better time to walk through and show you guys what we do over at West Dallas Heating, why we do what we do and how we do it, and uh, why we pick certain equipment. So let's go, let's take a look. So here we're looking at my air conditioning installation here. Um, as you can see, it's up on the wall. Um, that's because I have an exposed basement and the grating's not quite done here yet. So this will be over a retaining wall, so I wanted it installed up high for now. Um, this is one way we can do it um, if needed, otherwise it would normally sit on the ground on a concrete pad. This is a Daikin 14 sear single stage air conditioner because this is an addition. I went with a slightly smaller, lower efficiency air conditioner because it won't be being overworked. I do have a much larger, more efficient air conditioner on the house as well um, for, the, the, for the main house. This air conditioner is only servicing uh, master bedroom which is about 700 square feet with a, a small living room space and uh, the basement which really doesn't get much air anyway so um, as you can see those are my furnace pipes they are coming out that is your exhaust and your intake so let's go take a look on the inside and we'll take a look down in the basement All right, so this is the basement bar area that's part of that uh, furnace and air conditioner is um, supplying. Um, I did do three vents on the ceiling down here. So there's one, there is two, and that's the third one. This is a little more than normally what we do, but I wanted to get the max amount of heating and cooling down here as possible. Here we got a centralized return. This is 14 by 20. This has a filter behind it. The reason I did that is because we do smoke cigars down here. <laughs> so that will help with um, filtering some of that cigar smoke out. We also did put in a 200 CFM six inch ducted exhaust fan as well. And I also run a air purifier down here as well. So let's take a look at the furnace. We'll give you a quick look at the space that I'm trying to heat and cool in the basement. It's not big, it's only about 600 square feet. All right, so here, these guys did a great job fitting my furnace into a very small space, and getting me everything I need. This is a Daikin uh, two-stage 60,000 BTU with a variable speed fan blower ECM. Uh, very high efficient, 96% efficient. Um, here we got the exhaust piping as you've seen outside. It just runs straight out right there along with the refrigerant tubing to the air conditioner. And that runs right down here to the coil. Um, that's cold air return. This one here is supplying, that is the centralized return for the basement. The rest of that trunk line feeds the upstairs. Down here we have a Honeywell. Um, I do have a MERV 16 charcoal filter that also helps filter out any smoke um, from the cigar smoke that I might have in the basement um, so that that does not transfer to the rest of the house. As you can see, not a very big space they they got that in there nice and tight for me everything's perfect this is a perfect insulation of a furnace and air conditioner a little bit more about that furnace is uh the reason i went with variable speed is so i could constantly keep that fan on in a circulate mode this keeps the air balanced in the house also lets me filter 24 seven without blowing a high speed of air out all the time. So that ramps up when I'm heating, it ramps up when I'm cooling, but if I'm not heating or cooling, the fan remains running just in a very low speed. Um, you probably can't hear it. This is a very, very quiet furnace, um, but it is running right now and it, it is just running fan only. Um, so there is always air sucking out of this return, always filtering the air down here and there is always a little bit of air blowing out of these vents, no matter what. You don't have to run your system that way, but that's the way I prefer it, and that's why I chose that equipment. All right, so now I'm up in the master bedroom. Uh, this is what uh, the rest of the heating and cooling that we put in is supplying. Um, it's a master bedroom, a couple closets, a bathroom, and we have like a four season room that we wanted heating and cooling in as well. 
Um, so I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through there, show you the duct work that we put in, and show you some of the bath fans and, and whatnot that we put in there for some other circulation and removing humidity. Um, so let's take a look at that. We're still under construction and we're not fully moved in yet, but I'll start walking you through. So this is our kind of sitting room slash um, bedroom space. So this is where our bed and, and whatnot is. And I'll walk you guys through the ductwork that I put in this space. This space is about 450 square feet. There is single duct run there underneath each window, single duct run there. And you got a large return in this space. Pull that air back. And then, just because the space is so big, I did add another duct run there. Um, as you walk in, this duct run here is actually on the old system. This is where the new house connects to the old house. Um, and then for the bathroom here, we did a single duct run on the floor there. And then I'll walk you back. We'll take a look. Now there's a his and hers closet. These are large closets and they both are on exterior walls. So we did decide to put ductwork in the closets just to keep those rooms warm in the winter time and uh, cool in the summertime. Nice place to get dressed. You're not freezing cold. And then here we have our, there's a little bit of a mess in here because we were still under construction. But uh, so we have ductwork there in front of the patio door. And then not just on the other side of the room, this is just a Four Seasons room for us. Um, so it's actually closed off and disconnected from the main part of the house other than that door. Um, so there is also another return that I put in right here. And that is right across from the thermostat the way you want it. You want your thermostat to be in a place where you're getting air drawn from the house, not blowing hot or cool air on it. All right, that's the space that that new furnace and air was created for this up here in that basement downstairs. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching my video. And if you guys are looking for whatever, air conditioning, new furnace, duct work, want to add some humidity to your house, put an April air system on, you want to do some better filtration of your house, um, your system's just old, you want something more efficient, Give us a call uh, at, the, at the office. We're 414-543-2800. Or you can PM me. Um, hit me a text if you have my phone number. Um, email me. We're ready to go over at West Dallas Seating. Thanks, guys.